Lilliput? Lilliput? Like Gulliver's Travels, Lilliput? The one where they were going to war because they interpreted eggs differently or something? Uh oh. A giant bird is attacking some little people! Those little people are in trouble! Uh, there's something familiar about this situation. Yeah, there is. That bird's all excited about something. Solomon, what are you doing? Hurry up and help! Solomon? Oh, well, um, I'm trying to get into this cave. Well, I thought that maybe we could help him by going to the cave. Well, actually, what am I doing running away? I can't leave them here. This is really serious. Like, these people are dying. Like, their lives are absolutely in danger right now. I didn't quite hit, hit the bird. There we go. Oh. So that's not the solution. Quack, quack! Who stole my precious egg? Give it back. Give it back. These guys seem suspicious. Is that really all you have to say? So one of you is named Solomon, though, huh? Is... is one of them Jewish? Well, um, I do believe it was Dion who resolved the last time we met, uh, Lilliputians. That bird is all excited about something! You're very calm about this, while even as you run around there, Professor. Solomon, what are you doing? Hurry up and help! Okay. He panicked again. Hey, help me! Hassan, I'm powerless to help you. If only Princess Polly were here. Princess Polly? Yeah, what? Did I miss something? Uh, probably nothing important. Polly! I did not expect this at all. She's a princess of the Lilliputians. Hey, Asin, Solomon, long time no see. It's me, Polly. A step back, I'll handle this. You stole my egg, didn't you? Give it back. The, the princess. The princess was squished. You stupid bird. Get off her! Stop that! That's my weak point! I won't be done in so easily. You may have stepped on me, but now it's my turn. Well, that should do the trick. Oh, princess. It's been three months since you left on your journey. I was... I was so worried. Princess! I'm so glad to see you safe and sound. Hassan was just leaving on a journey to search for you. I'm sorry to make you all worry, but I'm fine. I brought these three giants with me. They're just kids, though. I think they can beat the blue thugs. My kingdom is through that cave, so come with us, okay? Wow, I didn't expect that of Polly. Just goes to show, you never know, you never really, you think you know people, but it turns out there's more to them than you thought. Oh. So I suppose that tall, bald one was Solomon, and that the bearded one was Hassan. Kind of an odd duo of names. I forget what kind of names the Lilliputians had in Gulliver's Travels. Probably wasn't quite like that, wait, wait, what? Did you guys, uh, put on a bit of... a bit of height? What's going on? You're the same size we are! You idiots! Slackers! Frauds! Deadbeats! Do you know how hard I worked to bring you here? I can't believe this! I don't know why, but it seems you kids aren't giants anymore. Let's leave it at idiots, slackers, frauds, deadbeats. 
That said, it was good to meet you. Uh, farewell. What the heck's going on here, guys? What the? There we go. The one thing I thought we could be confident about was that Polly was pretty short. Also really feisty. But man, we can't just leave after all that. Stop right there, travelers. For the crime of kidnapping the princess, you'll be arrested and taken to the king to be sentenced. King Gingham III, we've captured three miscreants. I'm King Gingham III, and you? You pretended to be giants and kidnapped Princess Polly. Why have you come here? Well, you see, Princess Polly is actually one who took us here. If you were just giants, how did you become tiny like us? It's unbelievable. Thanks to you guys, I'm the laughing stock of the kingdom. I'll never forgive you. What if I told you we could take care of the blue thugs, even though we're not giants? How could Polly be kidnapped by such dumb kids? Well, at least now she should know that the stories are lies. There are no such things as giants. Anyhow, you've disgraced the royal family. You must face your punishment. Now I'm by. Come on, guys. I don't, I don't care about this. Maybe the reason you guys shrunk is the same reason everything around this castle is huge. Glad the princess came back, but... Things have been getting stranger and stranger. Solomon seems a little blue. Wait, so the bearded one is Solomon. That's what I would have thought. I think a Solomon is a name of an older person. I am sure you were giants. Sure of it. Maybe it was just a bad dream. You've incurred the king's wrath. Uh, come with me to fulfill your punishment. Oh, they have nice ceiling fans in here. Good, good thing they have some electricity here. It seems like pretty hot country. I forget. Were the Lilliputians, like, Arabian-y or Persian-y? I'm not sure. I know, th I remember that the, um, uh, people of the uh, Brogdingnag were, like, Chinese. Criminals must not be allowed to escape. Quietly await your judgment. Bet you were surprised when you saw the king, weren't you? This kingdom's always been very hot. Why doesn't he take off that heavy gown? Oh. I'll explain the ceiling fans. Because it's very hot here. Anyway, so, uh, it looked like he went this way. Where'd he go? Wait a minute. Where did where did Hassan go? He can't be like, I'm gonna lead you to where to where you need where your punishment is, and then just ditch us like this. Hassan? What are you doing? Where is he? That's not Hassan. Or Solomon. It was Solomon. I'm sorry. I just... I thought the other one was Solomon and my brain already sort of internalized that. Very well. Follow me downstairs. These guards have the faces of Octoroks. Ah, the royal distillery. Look at the creatures in the cell there. They are blue things, giant ants. Besides the blue things, there are many gigantic bugs, but only the ants have formed an army and attacked our kingdom. Oh, must be this cell. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely true that in, um... Gulliver's travels, the kingdom was menaced by other tiny people, not ants. It's a giant ant! How could an ant get so big? This small kingdom would be completely overwhelmed if the ants attacked tomorrow. Oddly military kind of thinking there. Um, Max? Okay. Uh, 
I've been searching for a way to defeat the blue things for a long time and finally found a solution. Even if the ants want to attack, they can't. Thanks to the miracle remedy, Ant Buster. If I can complete its production, the ant menace will be abated. Which means, as your punishment, you must search the dangerous forest for the ingredients. The princess says that the three of you are capable adventurers, able to handle any challenge, so I'm hoping for the best. Not only is this your punishment, but it is a personal plea for me. I'm sure if you manage to succeed, the king will reassess your sentence. Will you help me? Okay. Well, aren't you brave little boys? Well then, I can't let all three of you leave together, but you can open the gate on the right there. If someone stands on the glowing block inside the cell, the door can be closed from the inside. Why? Okay. What's this? Hassan's memo. The five ingredients of the ant buster. This is a really lame picture. So, um, a snail shell? A leaf? A tusk? A, um, hair? Sure. And a pine cone. Forest coat. The coat of a forest creature that hates the cold. It is said to weaken ants. Okay, I see. So. We need a forest shell, which is a certain shell from the forest. Yeah, so it's a snail shell, and is this a leaf? No, it's a golden drop. Oh, it's the most important ingredient. Oh, I see, it's it's honey. A frog tail? Oh, I don't want to kill a f Wait, frogs don't have tails. Oh, it's a tadpole tail. Silver thread. Oh, so spiders, a uh, piece of spider silk. And the coat. So, it's probably some sort of pelt. Well, okay, sure. Can do. Well, can do. Let's uh, record our prison sentence. Man, already have a criminal record at this age. It's just sad. This is the archive room. Those without permission may not enter. We are storing various documents used to build the Ant Buster. You can't just barge in here and read everything. I don't want to read all of your dry technical manuals, okay? Caesar's painting guide number two, patterns. The first color you paint determines the pattern. Red is polka dots, blue is stripes, and green is checkers. The reason is a mystery, even to me. What in the world does that mean? This must be Caesar's, uh, yes, number one. How to make black. Start with green paint, and then mix with red, and you'll get black. If you start with red or something, you won't get black. Caesar is a true master painter. Actually, it's kind of one of the odd things here, is that all the people here seem like they have some kind of famous name. Anyway, I don't think we're all allowed to go. So, um... I guess they'll, they play rock, paper, scissors, and decide that Dion has to stay behind. We all agree this is for the best, Dion. Whatever. Don't worry about whoever you leave behind. This dungeon is much safer than the forest. There are five things you need to get. Read the blackboard for details. Make sure you remember them properly. Sorry, right, I do. Come on, Jack. Man, Dion is going to be in a very bored... He's going to get so bored. Boredom can be pretty terrible, you know. Yeah, things are going very different for them than they went for uh, Gulliver. I suppose we're not going to go to the land of the... Which is the final of the places that he goes to in his travels. 
He returns to Britain, abandons his family, and becomes a crazy man who wanders around trying to talk to horses. He also hates humans because horses are so perfect in comparison. This gate leads to the forest. More and more people are coming back from the forest injured. You kids should be careful. Well, at least one of the guards has some humanity in him. Lilliput might have had a Persian theme. I don't remember enough. I don't remember well enough to say. I don't want to step on your game there, mister. I'm so excited. My heart is pounding. What is it? I don't know anything. You sure? You sure you don't, you don't, you don't know anything about these balls? What is this? Gum or candy? Like my great mecha number three? Moves all on its own. Pretty cool, right? But it's mine, so don't get all touchy now, you hear? It's a toy robot. It winds up in the back. Man, it reminds me of, uh... That robot from the beginning of Chrono Trigger. The one who, if you can beat me up, you'll get 15 points! Or something like that. Pretty good quality for a freebie bonus toy. Hello, man. Oh, these kids keep coming in here for the free bonus toy. Every caramel comes with a Great Mecha toy. Apparently, Great Mecha is popular with the kids nowadays. Wanna buy some caramel? I've run out of the free bonus, though. Uh, no. Huh. Well, see you around, shop. So it's like some kind of, I mean, it's a bakery. They had lots of nice bread, some cake. I love bread. You know how some people really like candy or chips and they can't stop eating it? I'm like that with freshly baked bread. Well, unless it's gluten-free. Welk! Oh, the kids who invaded our kingdom. Are you supposed to be fuddling around here? Customers stop coming around thanks to the blue things. Thanks to the ant monsters, business is in the pits. No. Oh. I thought this might be the inn, since this is like an RPG town. Here's our RPG town shop. Oh, can we buy this fossil? I like the Nautilus. We have everything you don't need and nothing you need. Welcome to the everything store. We only barter here. Traveler, want to make a trade? You can have anything on the counter. Go ahead and choose. Let's see, we have a... Uh, I'm not even sure what these things are. Hey, wait a minute. You have quite nice. The Shogun of a country called Japan hid that pot in his secret treasure stash. Do you like it? If you want it, choose an item you'll trade it for from the item panel. I don't have anything I'll trade it for. Bye. What the? I'm trapped! Oh, wait, here's the door. Hmm. So, they've had some contact with the outside world if they've a pot from Japan. Some strange local phenomenon causes everything to shrink here, though. How strange. Very strange. Polly does not sound like a Persian name. Anyway, the thing about Polly is, she was our friend. I never expected her to turn her back on us like this. Bye, bird. It really is just shocking, you know? She was our friend, and here she is. She was using us. She was just using us all along. What the? What are you doing? You're gonna die! Okay, so it's a trap. Well, there's the cause of it. Are you a friendly frog? Rabbit rabbit. What do I do? I can't get in the pond without getting electrocuted. Rabbit rabbit. 
There's electricity running into the pond, so I can't get in. Do something! If you do, I'll give you what you want. I promise, Ribbit. It's interesting that that Ribbit went untranslated. I don't know what the explanation for that is. I'm sure that the translators who were um, translating from Frog into Japanese put a lot of thought into that. They, were, they couldn't come up with a clear English equivalent, or a Japanese equivalent for that ribbit, so they had to keep it the same. I suppose in Japanese it would have been a Gero. Gero Gero. Doitashimashite. Which one of these was the shop? I believe it was this one. No, this wasn't a shop, this is just the inn. You see, that's what happens when you try to remember Max, you get it all wrong! As bad as Dion. Yeah, I hate Dion too. I ah, suggest the bakery. We need to- um... You were saying? Nothing. I'm sorry. I spoke with thoughtlessly, I'm- I, I, I- we all flawed, you know. Oh, it's a unicorn skull. Hey, wait a minute! You're a shrewd customer, aren't you? That hat was used by a chef in a three-star French restaurant for over 30 years. Does it tickle your fancy? If you want it, choose an item you'll trade for it from the item panel. Um, I can trade you some luck rocks. I can't trade it for something like that. Don't you have anything better? I hate you. No, he's just a businessman. What about this? Screw you! Bye! I thought maybe we could put the hat... It's an insulator on over the... You know, over the... The, the, the wire? It didn't work out. What are you doing here? If you don't want to be arrested again, stop acting so suspicious. This is the royal painter Caesar's house. Solomon is inside and they seem to be having an argument. If you don't want me to be suspicious, why are you keeping me abreast of what they're doing? This gate leads to the Blue Thing Colony. Those without the King's permission may not pass. I... I almost died. I'm staying away. I actually really hate this duty. Yeah, and yet you, you shouldn't keep your back to that. I think the problem is the thing's trying to come out, not people trying to go in. Wait a minute. Did you see that, Max? See what? The wire! Oh, yes. Look there, Max! The wire goes directly into the royal palace! They're the ones who are causing this! We need to go see the royal electrician! Hey! Where's the royal electrician? In here, probably. You him? Hassan is the greatest scientist in the kingdom. Listen carefully to Hassan's sentence and repent your sins. Thanks. Where's Hassan, though? Wait a minute, Solomon? I thought you were arguing with... with Caesar. What's going on? Are you actually Hassan? I mean, you seem like a scientist. Don't worry about whoever you leave behind. This dungeon is much safer than the forest. Yeah, I'm going to, but... Where can I go to shut down... Well, I mean, I see the wires along the wall there. You can see them going further back, in fact. Let's see, so there's the wire, and it just keeps going. It takes a turn in that direction. This is the entrance to the castle's back garden. It's a secret place that no one except the king, not even Polly, can enter. The king's hobby is gardening. Supposedly, there's a magnificent garden behind the castle, but I've never actually seen it. Oh, well, yeah, it's kind of selfish of your king to do that kind of crap. I mean, really? Yeesh. Yeah, we're gonna need to get behind the thrones, I betcha. The king is taking a little nap. Don't make a ruckus. Solomon is running errands in town. He's probably out of Caesar O. Inai's house. Caesar O. Inai. Huh. 
How could we make a fuss? Really, I, I do feel bad about Polly. I mean, I, she really did. She used us. She betrayed us. I thought she was kind of funny, kind of likable. I thought she might even be one of my favorite members of our little team. And instead, this is what she goes and does. Wow. That, they're holding those spears so firmly that, they're, that there's an invisible barrier between them. What? There's a power line down in the forest. Power switch is inside this room, but if you want in, you'll need to get the explicit permission of soldier number five. Go get his permission and come back. You wait there, Max. I'll go find soldier number five. You number five? What? You're looking for soldier number five? Sorry, it's not my number. Huh? You want to know my number? All right, my number sounds like the noise a dog makes. What? Woof? Or bark? What the heck number sounds like that? Well, in any case, he's not number five, so it doesn't matter. What a weird way, what a, what a, what a way to tell us. Why would you phrase it that way? What? Number five? That's not my number. If you say comfort in Japanese, it sounds like this number. Four, maybe? Because it would be like comforto. I mean, that sounded kind of Italian, but you know the idea. Because all those Japanese words all end in consonants. What? Number five? It's not my number. What? You want to know my number? All right. Uh, when you say my number, you make a kissing face. Okay, so he's number two. Two mu- Sorry, it's not my number. Five, I mean. Was it? You want to know my number? Sounds like a sizzling steak. Man, I'm starving. Sizzling steak? S what number is this? These soldiers are all a bunch of weirdos. I love it. What? You're looking for number five? Sorry, that's not my number. My number sounds like heaven. Oh, it's seven. Well, that one is very easy to figure out. That guy who gives the hint about Japanese, though, that's so weird. Like, I guess the Japanese original text, he, did he make sense? Or does he like, are they trying to make it equivalent, like in the original he speaks in, in uh, English or something? What? You're looking for soldier number five? Sorry, it's not my number. You want to know my number? It sounds like what soldiers say when marching. It's two syllables. What? Well, in any case, he's not five. What? You're looking for soldier number five? Sorry, it's not my number. Hmm? You wanna know my number? My number's shaped like a yacht. Uh, can you guess which it is? Shaped like a yacht? Seven? I guess, because seven is like the prow of a... a ship shape to it, kinda? Anyway, so, um, uh... If Solomon is off having an argument in town... Maybe you're soldier number five. What? You're looking for soldier five? That's not my number. What? You want to know my number? It's on a Friday, it's really bad luck. Oh, he's soldier number 13. Or one of you, perhaps, soldier number five. It's, I need it to carry out my punishment. No, he's not. What ho? Oh, you want to know my number? There's a number of players in a second team. Well, certainly not five. No? Nah, not number five. What? You wanna know my number, eh? My number is the same even if you flip it upside down. Is he one? I mean, it depends how you write one. Most people write one as a, like a, like a line. I make it a line uh, complete with serifs. What? You're looking for soldier number five. Sorry, it's not my number. Eh? You want to know my number? Okay, so... If you flip my number upside down, it becomes a smaller number. So your soldier number nine is nine upside down becomes six. 
Incidentally, if you flip the number 96 upside down, it's still 96. Just thought I'd let you know. What? You're looking for soldier number 5? Sorry, it's not my number. You want my digits? Okay, my number is shaped like an ear. Why are they all giving such bizarre hints? Well, we found every soldier but five. So we asked these two already. Um, I believe we've talked to that guy. Have we talked to this guy? I don't think so. Well, here I am in the flesh. Oh, you want inside the archives room? Sorry, I'm not in charge of that. I'll have to talk to soldier number seven about that. Where's the one whose name is like a yacht? I think it was somebody outside. Or wait, no, no, it was one of these guys. What? You're looking for number seven? Sorry, it's not my number. No. No, so it's not him. You're the nonsense one. There's no making any sense of that hint. But you're seven, I think. Looking for soldier number seven. Darn. These hints are almost all really terrible. Who in the heck is soldier number seven? Oh, the one whose name rhymes with heaven, duh. Wait, then what number is shaped like a yacht? Um... What number is shaped like a yacht? Uh... No idea. What about you? Use number seven? No, you're not. Oh, he's the sizzling steak man. Are you the one who's running this heaven? What? Looking for number seven? Well, here I am in the flesh. Oh, you want inside the archives room? Sorry, I'm not in charge of that. You'll have to talk to soldier number eight about that. This is bureaucracy. This is a... This is about how dehumanizing and demoralizing navigating a bureaucracy to do something as simple as flipping a switch is. It's worthy of Kafka. So who could number eight be? You know what, I'm just gonna look this up. These hints are too terrible. Dion is a man on a mission. That much is for sure. Hey. What? Looking for number eight? Well, here I am in the flesh. Oh, you want inside the archive room? Sorry, I'm not in charge of that. Uh, you'll have to talk to soldier number 12 about that. A Kafka-esque nightmare. Alright, you're looking for soldier number 12. We'll have him in the flesh. Oh, you want inside the archives room? Sorry, I'm not in charge of that. Uh, you'll have to talk to soldier number 6 about that. It never ends. You number six? What? Oh, you're looking for the number six soldier. I am none other than soldier number six. Oh, you want into the archives room? You need to talk to soldier 14 about that. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, you want to turn off the electricity? Well, all right, you can enter. Don't mess stuff up too badly, all right? Whereas Kafka would have no ending, or rather his end- well, he might have no ending. Rather, his ending would just stop with us still searching in the middle of it, like perhaps in the middle of a sentence for good measure, but... Not- but here... We get a resolution. There is some hope in this horrible world of ours. Looks like you have permission now. Oh! It was the number six soldier, not the number five soldier? Whoops, my bad. Only off by one, though. As I promised, you may enter. Finally. Looks like the power switch. There are two levers. Uh, pull that one. Okay, maybe that did the trick. Are we just gonna have to run back and check? I mean, come on, Max, let's get out of here. 
This is... Sure, maybe it did the trick. I mean, you're giving us access to your electricity, though. I mean, if we're really... If you really think we're evil political prisoners, I mean, it's just terrible. The princess is arbitrarily, after all we've tried to do to help her, ma made us, like, political prisoners. What a little monster! Hello, Mr. Froggy. Ribbit, ribbit, croak. This is great! Nothing beats taking a dip, Ribbit. What? You got my tail? What on earth are you talking about? I didn't promise anything. Moreover, I don't even have a tail. I mean, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I mean, I can clearly see you don't have a tail. Now, as long as no one in that palace switch flips the switch, we won't die. We're doomed. But we can't cross that gap without Jack. Man, this is a pretty big forest. Yeah, we're gonna need Jack for all these gap jumping. What? Oh! Well, there's the fur, and they're hiding from silver strings, no less. Oh, there's some kind of caterpillar, is that it? Hey, what are you doing? Mino? You know Mino? Just who would you be? And why did you stop my brilliant dance? What pressing business prompted you to interfere? You know Mino? Mino, no, no. You want my beautiful coat, don't you? Well, sucks to be you. I wouldn't even let you touch it with those grubby little mitts. Nice guy. I no longer regret using them as punching bags. Because we've really touched the heck out of their grubby little... Or their nice coats with our grubby mitts, I mean. Yeah, this is appropriate wandering around in a cave underneath a forest music. If ever I've heard any. Not that there's much wandering, there's nothing here. Just a bunch of air. That's erosion for you, though. It carved out those caves. Well, there's still other directions we can march in. What are those, though? Oh, they're like, a uh, wood lice. Cool. Why is that frog normal size? Ah, here we have some kind of imperial snail delegation. My, 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 my. Translation. Uh, what do you think of my blue home? I recently relocated. Me, 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 me. If you need a new home, you should go with me, me home. Like that one? Whoosh! Whoosh! Oh, I get it. It's because you can hear it. Oh, wait, no, there's people. They're all occupied. I can't take one of them. Oh, I get it. He's selling his house. I've been serving customers for 20 years. If you're into housing, then look no further than my, my home. My, 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 my. I'm terribly sorry, but I don't stock human houses. Well, okay, I mean, that's fine. I want a snail house, actually. This really isn't a very dangerous forest at all. Locals seem pretty friendly. Well, I'm Dion. Actually, maybe Dion has some part here. Here, Dion. Try scaring all of them. That's a nice splashing effect. Well, okay, um... Dion, I'm so sick of you and your hijinks, okay? I mean, I'm glad that you were there to run all over town for me, but... Uh, really, me and Jack are the ones who should run around the forest. But the... But the cell is so boring, you have no idea! Look how tired you are now, that's what it's like all the time in that cell! Oh, whatever. Hey, bird, wanna talk? Who's 
stole my precious egg! Give it back! Give it back! These guys seem suspicious. Oh! The bird never did get its egg back, did it? You think the uh, government would be on something about this since their kingdom is being menaced that way? Hey, uh, you okay there, Jack? Yeah, you know, I got like a... Like a hair in my mouth. Hate it when that happens. Oh, look, look at that stone up there. I think I'm gonna go get that. Hey, Jack. You think that at this size, if we found a hair, we could climb up it? I don't know. You think I know everything? Oh, we can- can we talk to these roly-polies? We're roly-poly bugs. We're smart, so we can understand human words. Try answering our questions. Come a little closer. Oh. You know, I would think that you guys would be too agitated to talk if you're rolling around like this. I mean, you roll up as a means of self-defense, but... Gingham quiz time! You have three seconds. The castle has... 22. Holy crap! These guys are just psychos! They're out for blood! Well, um... I was thinking they were just up for a little game, you know? No, they want to kill us! Wait, these balls? Again, huh? What is this? Gum or candy? This smells like... Gunpowder? This is my favorite bomber ball! Oh, they're those, uh, toys you throw at the ground and they explode. Buzz buzz. Let's carry this sweet honey. And they sing a little song about carrying. One of us is a huge scaredy bee. Which one could it be? Um, I don't know. We could probably set, set these off and find out which one, because we need some honey. There are pots down there. What in the heck? Um... What in the... What is that? Well, I don't know. Um, it's... Certainly something, though. Much like the big trees. Oh, and there's a spider! And spiders, of course, talk by saying Fugo, Fugo, Fugogo. Can you kick? I'll let one kicker through. How about it? I'll come back. Goodbye. I'm not sure why the spider needs someone to kick, but to be sure, we're not the kicker. That's Max. Well, now he's need to get Max over here somehow. How hard could that be? Impossible, I should think. Oh! Come on, Max! You see, this is an instance where the characters can clearly see the path, but I, the player, cannot. Interesting uh, sort of disconnect, isn't it? I, it's like those silent movies where they would take advantage of the fact that it's like you're sort of looking at it in two dimensions. All right. We got your kicker. The kicker is, he's a little slow when it comes to running. Okay, you may pass. Fugo, Fugo, Fugo? I'm the third of the four Spider Brothers. You want something? I'll bet you want this thing on my back. I'll give it to you if you can beat me. What you gonna do? I'll do it. I'll give you a ball, so try to kick it past me. What? Oh, I see. Well, the issue is... Hmm. The issue is I need to kick it a little bit to the side to get it past him. Hi, I'm a goalie spider. I'm pretty fast, so good luck to you. You'll need it. Oh, right. That ball is actually a roly-poly bug, so it'll move around. 
Yeah, I thought it was a bu I thought it was a, uh, you know, a woodlouse. I'm really bully bug. I'm smart enough to talk to humans, but I never thought I'd be used as a soccer ball. Oh, please don't kick very hard. Can you please move? No, he doesn't want to move. Oh, it has to just be kicked forward, I guess? Well, all right. Oh, it just moved of its own volition. Just kind of randomly. It, oh, there it goes. Um, you know, it would help me if you'd stay still right, right here. Right here is where I need you to stay. St just a few seconds, okay, is all I need. And we'll make this kick. Just, just a few seconds is all I, uh, um, you, you know what, you don't want me to kick you, is that it? Is that what this is? Well, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have showed up here for this job. You should have shown up for some other job. Why do you, why, why are you even here? Okay, no, you know, no, I, I can do this. If this pill bug just stays still. Okay, pill bug, okay, so, there we go. Oh! You suck, try again. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm just gonna keep trying until I get it. That's how this works. They could be much harsher than saying you suck. So I'm going to, you know, I, I'm gonna, gonna give them benefit of the doubt. Maybe they don't realize that's such a rude thing to say. N not bad. Here, take it. Why paint? What do we need paint for? Comes with an easy to use paintbrush. Come challenge me anytime. I'll take you on. Its body is sort of like a, a basketball. And yeah, nothing up there. But why? What do we. What, what? I didn't think that paint was one of the ingredients. I thought the ingredients. We need a snail's shell, some honey some silk, the coats of those weird swinging things. Gonna bugger off. If... won't even call you a pansy if you do. I think there's some typos there, since it's if want. And additionally, um, bugger off. I'm really shocked at just how vulgar that is. Like, wow! That seems to be an oversight on whoever translated this, because that's like suddenly going from mild language to just outright vulgarity. Well, anyway. Um. So we should, let's see what these are. Do we need to try and figure out how many red and blue pots there are or something? And if so, why? Well, it's probably because Jack needs to talk to these fellas, isn't it? All right. Hi. I mean, I'll try. Why is it ging him, though? The girly teacher? Wait, what? Hold on. What do they- heck, they mean a girly teacher? What? I understand- I understood what the other question was, at least. Okay, what are you gonna ask? You shrunk from the ball in the forest, ball in the castle, ball in the cave. Ball in cave! Um. Well, you're assuming I know something that I don't. Like, that strikes me as a plot point we couldn't know yet. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's see what you, I, what's your question? What's this gingham quiz? The king's shorts are... What? It's checkered. 
You know, I've just answered three of them by guessing, or two of them by guessing, so that means that this one statistically is, uh, you know... Well, actually, that's not true. My probability of getting any given one of these right is unrelated to wh whether I got any other ones right. Because every one of them, there's a one in three chance I'll get it. Should I save? Guess so. I, I got a can of paint, so that's pretty good. Well, um... All right, let's see. So what's your question? The castle? Oh, it's the ceiling fans. So we know it's not uh, 20 fans. Let's go to 18. Okay, so it's 22 fans. This is really horrible abuse. I didn't realize these were... These really are just psychos. This is death trivia. Okay, sure. I guess they want to learn more about the human world, but... Wait, Polly's nickname is... Tomboy, I think. Wowza! You got it right! If you answer my buddy's questions, I'll give you a nice present. Oh, I see. They can only go to bed when they, uh... Once they've... Once they've had some trivia questions answered for them. Or maybe that was a lot of learning for a pill bug to do in a day. But no, they already know this stuff, or else they couldn't tell me whether I was right or wrong. Anyway, I don't really think Tomboy is her nickname. I think it's just something someone's, you know, has called her a couple times? It doesn't really strike me as a nickname. Yeah, okay, whatever. Sir Sobrequay. Okay. What do you got? The ki This king is the... He's the third, isn't he? Wowza! You got it right! If you answer my buddy's questions, I'll give you a nice present. Okay, so I see. The questions change. I see. Well, Jack is the smart one. He's also the tall one. Let's see what this is. Polly's chair was... I think it was red. Oh, must have been blue. Jack, run! You have long legs! You can get away before they attack you! Ah, uh, I guess he just really is a sucker for pain. But yeah, I mean, these pill bugs are prepared to just beat him until he passes out. They're a bunch of savages! I normally really am a big fan of, of, of pill bugs. They're crustaceans, actually, not insects, but... Wait, do I have to answer them all on one go? Okay. I can accept- I, I should just accept pain at this point. Okay, sure. What, what is it? The girly talker... Let's, I'll just go with Solomon. Maybe in the Japanese version, his talking would have been clearly girly. I don't know. Hey, other roly-poly bug who's smart. Yeah, yeah. So let's see your gingham quiz. The king's shorts are... Well, they're not polka dot. Or they're not striped. They're polka dot. Okay. Yeah. Wait for the pain. I guess Jack is bullied in school and he's just learned to accept abuse. But he shouldn't just accept abuse. I guess it's inevitable I'm going to know the answer to a couple of these. You shrunk from the... I'll go with the ball in the castle. Wowza, you got it right! If you answer my buddy's questions, I'll give you a nice present. Well, that's a... so a... Wait, so the castle? Are they knowingly shrinking everyone? Is that what... is that what is hidden behind the king? And if it is... How the heck do these guys know about that? Well, I, I don't know. Maybe they're efficient spies. Polly's nickname is... oh, it's this one again. All right, I think we're gonna get it. We have a pretty good track record today. These guys roll around as well as Gorons. All right, Polly's chair was yellow. Really, it was blue? Huh? Guess so. I mean, I, I believe you. I mean, I I don't I don't really know. Like, why do you know this? I mean, do you guys just frequent visitors of the royal court or something? I thought they didn't like bugs. I mean, I know you're not ants, so you're not trying to eat them. But seriously, come on, guys. 
Ding ding, correct! You got them all. Here's a present. A roly-poly shell. Okay, so that's one of the ones we needed. Is that a good thing? It doesn't feel like much of a prize. So I'm going to assume that that isn't a, the, you know, part of a, you know, a skeleton. I assume it's just like, not the skeleton of a dead roly-poly. I assume it's just the molted shell of one of them from when they were younger. But I have to say, I understand why Jack would be disappointed with that, but he shouldn't be because he is w well aware that that's one of the items we need. He and Max and Dion have talked about this at length already. Hmm, what else is there around here? Oh, excuse me? I'm glad that you could be happy for me like that. He's already back asleep, doesn't even want to listen to me. I swear, some people, right? Wait, what? Can you jump? I'll let one jumper in. Let me through. Okay, you can pass. All these athletic spiders. I'm the youngest of the four spider brothers. What do you want? I know, you want the thing on my back, right? Oh, you'll have to beat me first. Take the challenge? I'll do it. Good attitude. Let's play jumping yellow rock game. I'll throw yellow rocks for you, so try to catch 20 in 60 seconds, okay? Oh, that's pretty crazy. Wait, how... What am I doing? I don't quite understand the rules here. Oh, did I catch one? I guess so? Yeah, I think I caught a few of them. It just seems kind of arbitrary, though. Whether I'm getting them or not. This is that kind of like poorly designed mini game that I, you know, strikes me as like classic adventure game material. It's kind of poorly designed because it doesn't quite seem designed, the game overall, for this sort of arcade kind of uh, experience. And additionally, it's they don't quite make the rules clear enough. Hey, are we going to get to keep these uh, luck rocks? If so, that'd be great. I mean, if we win. Did I catch enough? I guess not. I'll do it, yeah. I mean, once again, I don't know what I need to paint for, but I can only try. All right. No more messing around. I think I have a better idea of what I need to do this time. Although these spiders are admittedly aggressive enough to actually hurt me. Unlike the uh, spiders from the other game. What the... Hold on, why aren't I getting that one? Well, I don't know. Um, some reason, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, how am I, how am I supposed to get that one? Can I just not get it if it goes in the, no, I'm sure there's some way to get it. I'm just not doing it. Whatever that way might be. I don't know if I got 20 or not yet. It sure would be nice if they gave me some kind of visible counter. I mean, other than the time counter, a counter for the number of luck rocks I caught. Really? I still didn't get 20, huh? Um, okay. This isn't exactly super great gameplay. This is kind of just tedious. Well, these sorts of really obscure games are usually... Not. They, they usually have some problems. Of course, many very famous video games also have quite a few problems, but... How many rocks does he throw out in this time? Is then there I would know the minimum number that I can miss. Or rather, the maximum number I can miss, not the minimum. Ugh. <sighs> I hate it. I really do hate it when video games do this kind of boring, 
like, annoying thing that's totally different from the rest of the gameplay, which is mandatory to do anyway. Like, we're never gonna have another game like this. It's just gonna be this. It's just gonna be run around getting... It'll, it'll be back to normal after this. We're not gonna have any more catch the... intercept the rocks and mid-jump kind of games. They're introducing some lame mechanics here. They're never gonna come back, and which only... Like, they're not... They're, they, they do nothing but make it take longer to finish. It just really sucks. Whatever. I'll do it. You know, I, I gotta do what I gotta do. Which is this. Fugo, 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 fugo! Congrats! You've got some sick moves! Here you go! Oh, thank you! I appreciate it! And I got blue paint. Came with an easy-to-use paintbrush. I'll give you all these yellow rocks, too. Wow! Yeah, that's pretty sweet! Great! And now you're still gonna tell me off like I... Yeah, I, I am leaving. I'm not a pansy, you little jerk. I won! Maybe it's just tough love, I don't know. Hey, Max, I got some paint. Um, okay. Me too, actually. Oh, that's the salty spray. Yeah, I'm getting a bit salty because all these spiders, you know? Oh! Ooh! I should have watched my step. Well, we already were down here, and once again, there seems to be nothing here. Very odd. Maybe it connects somehow to the room that has the uh, pots in it. What other things are there around here we haven't found yet? Oh, here's red paint. Oh, we don't have a sprinter. Or we do, but he's not here. What in the world are we... Oh! I didn't realize this. We're in the heart of spider territory, aren't we? Well, um... Normally, I would suggest not walking on a web. But, uh... Fugo, fugo. Fugo, fugo, fu. Fugo, go! I'm the oldest of the four spider brothers. How dare you stomp all over my web! Well, isn't that what you want, since you want to eat us? I know. Here for this thing on my back. If you think you can take it, give it your best shot. I'm not a pushover like my brothers. Get ready. Um... You know what, am I gonna have to fight it? Yes, so I am. So am I trying to get to behind it? Is that the goal? Yeah, you know what? Let's get out of here. He's gonna kill us. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's just some kind of trick to it. I can't be happy with a plane home. I want something eye-catching. I don't like anything for my my home, but I still want a new house. I heard there is a human store with every item imaginable. Oh. Well, yeah, I understand why you snails might not be able to go to the human store. But Max and I, we sure can. Because we're humans. I suppose the Lilliputians are also humans. They just, um, uh... Fell under the influence of some magic ball that makes them very tiny. Wait a minute! That's the pearl. That's the pearl! The pearl is what's making everyone tiny! Once again, these pearls... They could... They totally... They have such bizarre world-altering effects! Wow! What the heck is marvelous, then? 
mean, if the pearls are already this astonishing, the, the marvelous could... Maybe it's like a unified field theory or something. Uh, which one would be good? I think this one might be. Hey, wait a minute. Yes. Yes, I think that would be a very good pot for our purpose. What can we trade for it? Do we have anything? Um, I think that's one of the ingredients we need. We can get another one. Whoa! Well, take a look at that. Does it look good? Yeah. You got the Shogun's Pot. Good. Oh. But whatever. It's good enough. It's a snail. The snail won't know the difference. And any kind of pot already be a lot more showy than those, uh, you know, shells that they formed on their backs. I mean, it's not really like they can leave those shells. Those shells are attached to them. It's part of them. And you couldn't get rid of those any more than you could just get rid of your spine if you wanted. Well, I mean, maybe someday you'll be able to just get spines replaced like it's nothing. That day? That day is not today. It is very far off from being today. Yeah, nothing down here. Hey there. Don't worry. I'll give you something eye catching. Okay. Here you go. It is iffy, but. Yo, give me that nice round house? It looks great! It's comfortable enough, but it sort of smells. <sighs> Once again, walking back and forth. See, I don't mind delivering things to people. I don't mind fetch quests. I don't like it when they're process of elimination fetch quests, though, that only seem like they exist to make it take longer. Like, this is just, you know, random guessing going back and forth. All right, what is it now, Shady Merchant? It's a bulletproof pot worn by the great Napoleon, huh? Oh, well, sure, I mean, if it's Napoleon's. Did he just totally forget that we just got this Shogun's pot from him a second ago? No, not that kind of pot. If you look closely, it's full of clo it's full of holes. Something's fishy here. I think we got ripped off again. Now, I know there's a little holes in it, but, um... There's some holes, but it's still... Let me tell you something. It's avant-garde. It gives it a coziness that a normal shell just doesn't have. These aren't really snails. They're just slugs wearing, um, shells, actually. It's nice, but if it rains, I'll get soaked. Sorry. Snails love moisture, and so do slugs, so it's fine that they're slugs. Well, whatever. Those invention nonsense excuses to, I guess, keep marching around. At least we get to hear the nice music. I like that sort of flute. Uh, you can hear it a bit in the, uh, well, not right now, but you can hear it a bit in the left ear. You're a shrewd customer, aren't you? That hat was used by a chef in a three-star French restaurant for over 30 years. Does it tickle your fancy? If you want it, choose an item you'll trade for it from the item panel. Very natural way of saying it. I'll give you Napoleon's hat. Or pot. You got a chef's hat. Yeah? Looks pretty new to have been used for 30 years. What gives? What a scum bag. And I sure it's really is gonna stand, you know, stand out. And it's not going to, it's not gonna have holes that will, the water will leak through. 
And also, it's not going to smell because it wasn't actually used in a restaurant. Now give me that fluffy house. It looks great. That doesn't have much body to it, you know? We're just gonna give it the shell we got from, from the giant pillbox. Okay. In real life, the giant isopods live underwater. Hey, wait a minute. That's the best piece I have! It's an alien space monster shell from a famous sci-fi movie. Does it suit your nerdtastic tastes? You scumbag, who's also a complete brain-dead idiot. We're the, we're the only customers. We went through everything in your shop and gave you that, and you forgot we did. Okay. That thing wasn't in any sci-fi movies. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I think that the guy there isn't the most trustworthy type. What makes you say that? Now, wait a minute. Hey, where were those little balmy things in the forest, right? Those gunpowder smelling things, you know? Remember? Remember them? I used to throw them at the 4th of July and everyone got startled when it got, you know, went off near their feet. No, but I mean, these must be them. No, you do know something. Yeah, tell us what you know. Why, why isn't he telling us anything? Well, it's a nice little bakery, but maybe you can tell us something. I know that you want to, you know, get the caramel, but you said there are no more left. Oh. Kaha! <laughs> I got you good. These pop when they're hit from above. Oh, that was a laugh. Yeah, I'm really deeply annoyed. They don't hurt, so don't worry. It was all in good fun, right? Don't get mad. Give them to me. Give them to me. Whatever. Annoying kid. It's fine, though. He only thinks he's bothering people, when really, we don't really care very much. Actually, that's not true. I clearly am annoyed by him. Which is strange, because it really is totally inoffensive, and I knew exactly what they were. Well, whatever. I mean, I guess I'm annoyed because he wants. He, like, he thinks the idea of people accidentally sitting off little explosives around their feet is hilarious. But of course, it's a little rude. It's a little rude. Bees were up over here, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Or no, they weren't. Where are the bees' knees? Oh, there are those guys. Hey. Hey, you look kind of like a... There's a kind of caterpillar that, um, builds, uh... Oh, come on, swing like a pendulum. No, anyway, there's a kind of caterpillar, or something like a caterpillar, that builds a sort of chrysalis that looks like that. So it's like they're those, but with eyes. It's actually a really effective uh, kind of camouflage, because they're able to um, uh, blend in very well with uh, uh, needles on, a, on an evergreen. Okay, so no item works against them. I see. Be that way. Hmm. Where were the bees? Were they past this place? I don't quite remember. Maybe. Oh, well, at least we're in a pretty... Fo oh, no. This is spider territory. So near those weird spinning things with the eyes, which resemble this kind of chrysalis, is spider land. 
Spider Town, Spideropolis, Spiderberg. Anyway, forget it. Forget about the bees. I mean, we're, I won't forget about the bees. We're gonna go back to the bees, but first, I'm gonna bring the bug shell to our snail friend. Now, unlike those other things, this is actually a really high quality shell, so by all means, you picky, showy person, take it. Um. Um. There it is. Are you kidding me? It doesn't make any sense! <sighs> it's really being to try my patience. <sighs> I think it makes it. So, why does it make any sense? It's literally a shell. Unlike all that, all those other things, it's actually a shell. And you tell, you know, f f who, who cares? Who needs you? Why aren't these going off? That's weird. Why are there these holes? Also, there are two blue and two red pots from that hole, and from this hole, we can see. Two blue and one red pot. So you said one of you bees is a scaredy cat. Which one? And how do we set off these bombs to scare you? Because obviously we need to startle a bee and it drops the pot of honey. Because bees uh, store their honey in jars, right? Oh, which one of you could it be? That's a good point. Do I just need to talk to them until I find the scare DB? I mean, I guess so. Is it you? You know, bees let out a little whooping noise when they, um, uh, get startled or bump into each other. They're naturally kind of clumsy, so they must make that noise an awful lot. Are there only three of them? It's hard to know. You're a pretty fast one. No, I figure the one who's the scaredy bee is not going to be talking about how he's the scaredy bee. Or rather, is not going to be talking about how one of them is a scaredy bee. And unfortunately, I was too near something when I wanted to look around. No, that one isn't either. Well, um, huh. I think we're having our first set of particularly perplexing puzzles. Well, Pluck's also shrunk down with us, so might as well call Pluck in, right? Right. Sorry to call you in with giant bees buzzing around, but don't worry, they're not hornets, they won't eat you. Here's how for honey. Yeah, I have plenty of luck rocks for once, okay? So I can I can accept a tip. I can afford one. Anything you can tell me will be helpful, I'm sure. I mean, I, there's a lot I don't understand right now. We're pretty far from home. We've been shrunk down. It's all very scary. Boy, what a handful. You have to collect five objects. Now, let's choose one of the following three sets of objects. Um. Oh, we do need pain, say. Well, let's go with... The gold drop in the coat. The golden drop refers to honey. There are three bees in the forest, and one of them is easily startled. You can scare him to get a drop, but you need to watch where it falls and remember the location. Forest coat is a bagworm's shell. Bagworms in this forest are very fashionable. They'll throw away their coat if it gets dirty. Uh, you should have an item for that, right? Hey, don't forget to give Hassan the items you find in the forest. Okay, that was actually quite useful, but how do we scare them? Because we're not able to set off these bombs for some weird reason. Like, why, why, why can't we set them off? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, why can't we use the bomber ball? Is it like a teamwork thing for some reason? We have to d use teamwork on the bomber ball? Can we do we have to look at it twice for some reason? No? Ah. <sighs> 
I guess we just... Are they just red herrings? I don't know. At least the roly-polies are sleeping now. Anyway, so we have an item to make them dirty, do we? Is it the paint? Might be. Hey, Jack, come on! So they're called bagworms. I never knew what those things were called. I think they're, I think they're the, uh, what I think they are, though. Yeah, Mino, Mino, Mino yourself. Ugh, you, you know, your coat isn't that beautiful. I mean, I know you're proud of it, but you're just kind of air- oh. Okay, we can't just use it. Well, can we use one of these? Like this? Yeah! What is this? All right, well, we're gonna have to take him out, is that it? I didn't expect to have to take him out. I expected to, uh... Well, what whatever. You know, if that's what if that's what he wants, wants to be violent. I I'm not I'm not I, I don't favor violence, but if if they if this is what they do, you look very impatient there. How could you have done this? This this was my favorite. Just take it away from me. I want it out of my sight. No, it is a caterpillar thing. We don't understand that bug's sense of fashion. Unless I get another coat soon, I'll catch a cold. Anything will do, so won't someone give me a new coat? You were arrogant and tried to hurt us? Or maybe you were just panicking and incidentally hurt us? But I... I still think I'll give you a new coat if I find one, and, you know, I can spare it. We're in trouble too, buddy, and it isn't just a coat. You know, that, that bug's, that bagworm's friends probably aren't even helping it at all anymore. And it just goes to show, you know, that s some friends they are. Because they only liked him because of that coat. They didn't really care about him, or her, I don't really know what the gender of that bagworm is. really a shame. Anyway, maybe Dion can scare that thing somehow. Those bees, I mean. Yeah, you know, I didn't normally think of Dion as the kind of guy who would... useful for anything in the world. But... you know, maybe we were too hard on him. Nah, no we weren't. But are you sure? I mean, he must be going out of his mind stuck in that cell. Anyway, they walk in the cell. And they find Dion, who's just running around in circles and beating his head on the walls and writing insane things in crayon. Um, I'll, I'll stay here. Don't lock us both in here, Max. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about me. I, I can, I'll just sleep. You see, Max really is the best one in there, because he's just going to sleep. He can have all sorts of exciting dreams. Every night, a movie theater in your head. With some really weird movies, too. Once I dreamed about a, a darker, story-driven reboot of Johnny Bravo, which involved the town being under the influence of some kind of almost uh, Mai Hime-esque magic that was causing um, uh, local teenagers to begin competing to murder each other. It was really pretty dark. It didn't really have much to do with Johnny Bravo, but that was fine because it was a dream and those never make sense anyway. Why well, this is a snail pit. I'm not here to, you know, in Snail Town. Or, I mean, I, I, I am here in Snail Town, but that's not what I'm looking for here. Hmm. Here we go. Hey, Dion. You're a sprinter, right? Set off the bombs! There we go. Oh, 
Oh, it almost dropped it, but not quite. Well, there it is again. Was that just not the scary, scared one? Now, I don't quite understand why we can only do this when we... There we go. But what are we supposed to do? It's f losing drops. But how do we get the drops? Oh, wait a minute. We need it to go underground into the pot. Don't we? Not sure why the colors of the pot are significant, but I see. Or I need to pay attention where those bees' shadow is then. Didn't work. Okay, I was a bit off there. I see. They only they only will cause them to drop honey once they're returning with the honey, and they're moving in a slower, more wavy pattern. See? The honey didn't quite go in the hole. Anyway, all those bombs are gone. It's a good thing they just happen to be sitting here. We'd be screwed otherwise. To be or not to be? I don't know. Ah! The honey fell through the hole! Well, thanks for pointing that out, Dion. I know my puns might have been getting a bit old. Might have been a bit of a uh, buzz kill, but... There's something in the pot under this hole! Yes. How do we get it? Just as I suspected, a drop of honey fell into this pot. Well, um, you can get it out, right? With your fishing rod. Yeah, lowering it right into the hole. The honey must have fallen into this hole. There's something in the pot there. Yeah. D okay. Come on, Dion. Let's go. Wait, hold on. Just to make sure that that doesn't reset after we leave. Yeah, it doesn't. Now, Dion, there is another cave located in these woods. I believe it is, in fact, the same cave. Are you even listening? It is the same cave as that into which the drop of honey fell. So let's go check. Wah! I always forget where it was. Okay. How do we get to the honey, though? That's the real question. That's not gonna work. Oh, I see. Wait, it's a man down here? No way. You dropped the honey from up there. Really? Really, really? That's true. You should know which pot the honey fell into. Try to guess. I'm an adult, so I'll let you have two chances. Oh. Let's see, you can see it from the lower of the three holes. I'll be right back. Just wait here, Jack. Ah, oh, whatever, leaving me out of things as usual, Dion. Man, why are the guys so mean to me? Hey, you know, I, I just want to do my best. I just want to do my best just like them. I save Miss Jean, I just want to make people happy. And they're going like, ah, oh, geez. Why you gotta have so much energy? You don't even have a favorite food. I just, I just really wish they could be a little more patient with me sometimes. Well, there's the pot. It's in between, well, it's directly next to a red pot, and there is a blue pot a little bit to the upper, um, uh, uh, up and left of it. Can we see it from this hole? No, we can't. Can we see it from this hole? Ah, oh, I expected not. Very well. Now, really, it really doesn't make sense that we need to guess which pot the honey is in. Because we could just look! We could just, like, look down and clearly see which one the honey's in. 
This is another one of those times that it really takes advantage of its uh, role as a video game to diverge from well, how it would obviously work in reality. You see, there are some advantages to being short. Now, I don't know why you say this, you unreasonable Lilliputian man. I just feel like everybody we meet keeps being super unreasonable. It's really quite annoying. Like, in Fran Bo, for example, in Fran Bo, even though there, you know, there were monsters and horrible hallucinations and it was a horror game, people were much more reasonable. Crap. You knew? Fine, a promise is a promise. Wait here. Oh, you wanted it for yourself, did you? Huh? People do anything for money, won't they? Wait, he's just carrying like a- it is a glob? Fine, take it, thief. Truthfully, you're the- well, we did steal it, but you're the thief trying to steal it from us. This must be the golden drop. Don't drop any more honey down here, you hear? I'm trying to make a living, so I won't give any more to you. Wait, is this guy a professional honey thief? Does he just know that the bees are occasionally going to drop honey and he sets up pots to catch it? It's weird. Delicious. I, I, what, oh, whatever, I mean... There are much worse ways to make a living in this world. If that's what he wants to do, he has every right. Well, we actually got a few of the things we need. What's next? Ah, yes. The sprint shoes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to almost kill you with a hammer. Even though that would be a much more effective way of doing this. You might be rude, but but you don't deserve that. Okay, you may pass. They don't look like jumping spiders, but they're pretty good at jumping. I'm the second brother of the four spider brothers. Don't just waltz around on my racetrack. I know. You want the thing on my back, right? Well, I'll consider it if you can beat me. I'll do it. Okay, listen up. The rules are simple. Run around the track two times. Whoever finishes first wins. Since I'm such a nice guy, you can have a head start. Just start when you're ready. I didn't realize I could, uh, control my, you know, directions like this. Oh wait, I'm running the wrong way. My bad. Now it's just practice. Well, this spider doesn't mess around. I mean, there are a lot of very fast spider species in the world, of course, but... Darn, you lost. You're so slow. You never beat me with those old moves. What do you mean, so slow? We were neck and neck! Truthfully, I wasn't sure whether I won or not. I guess I just kind of assumed. I mean, I just wasn't... Well... I don't know. Oh, I already lost. I already lost. That wasn't even remotely close. They demand nothing less than perfection, these spiders. I mean, you know what? If we beat that spider, who, who's the, the eldest spider, I mean, you know, why do I even need to worry about King Blue after that? King Blue couldn't be tougher. Let's be honest here. What's more dangerous, King Blue or a giant spider in the spider's web? Huzzah! You beat the spider! Thanks, Alnuma-san. Dang it. How could I lose to such a tiny punk? Fine, I promise. I'll just take it. Thank you. Come challenge me any time. I'll take you on. I like your confidence, kid. You are so... I just, I can't get over 
how rude these spiders are. They're like, I'm not even gonna call you a pansy, and they say bugger off. It's just, it's unbelievable. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Well, we got a few things. What's next? Oh, we need to take out the, the spider. The, the big spider. The eldest spider. Now, how are we gonna get... Well, maybe this is how we'll do it. I'm glad you think it's great. Yeah, wh wh where's your tail? I mean, you don't even have a tail, it's true. What do we... What, like, what do we need to do to get the tail, you think? Because I can't think of anything, because it doesn't have a tail! Yeah, this isn't going to do us any good. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe, you know who might know, though? Pluck! Chirp, chirpy. In trouble? Uh, want a tip for one luck rock? If you want a tip, choose luck rock from the item menu. So natural, I could imagine a real shopkeeper saying that to me. Now we're on the same team here, Pluck. Why you gotta get, get paid to do this? Let's see, the frog tail in the shell... Yeah. Frogs don't actually have tails once they're grown. But the frog in the forest cherishes his. If you listen to him and follow the power cable to the castle, you should find a way to solve this problem. Then convince him to give you his treasure. As far as a forest shell, that's a snail shell. This is a season snails like to change their homes. Answer the roly-poly bug's questions correctly, and then find a house a snail might like at the shop in the city. I didn't realize I could walk on the wire back to the castle. Maybe only you can fit into it or something? Yeah, it just does- it's not- it's not something we can climb into. Didn't we already take care of that, though? Hey, wait a minute. That one isn't for sale. But if you really want it, I guess I can make a deal. This better be it, because there might be no going back from here. Wrong one. Uh, there it is. Whoa, we'll take a look at that. Does it look good? Yeah. We want the doghouse. This will really make that snail stand out from the neighbors. Looks like the only legitimate object in the shop. You give me that nice house. It looks great. This is it! It's just what I wanted! Thank you so very, very much for this new house. I'll give you my old one. Sorry it's a bit used. You got the forest shell. Even though initially that sound effect made me think that even this how this dog house was rejected. Picky house from a picky snail. Well, um, you keep doing your thing. Trying to live a bourgeois snail life in a middle-class household, I guess. Maybe now that it's in the water, we could electrocute it for some reason? Yeah, those chairs really are blue. Huh. I really... I still can't believe that Polly betrayed us like that. Well, I mean, I can. I mean, we almost forgot about her a bunch of times. Um... You know what, Dion? You're right. It's true. We did. Kinda surprised you noticed, though. I didn't even think about it. I always thought about her. Um, well, that one. Not sure what it might do. 
Well, Dion, let's go see uh, what went happened to the wire. That exposed wire they carelessly left out in uh, the fo in the woods. It's quite odd. That wire there is a normal sized wire, but to us it's giant. Whereas the wires that connect to it here in the royal palace are normal sized. Yeah, there are a lot of weird things about this place, huh? You said it, Dion. You know what, Dion, you're right. Maybe I have been a bit too hard on you. Hey, Froggy! Sorry to do this to ya. Ribs it. Ah! Stop it! I'm sorry, I'll talk if you come closer. Now, we're getting somewhere. Don't worry, Dion. He'll be fine. Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, but if he's dead, we can probably still get something from him. I, I don't know. I mean, it seems a little bit cruel. Let me tell you something, Dion. The world's cruel sometimes. That's what I've learned on our adventure here. Well, yeah, the world's cruel. I, I mean, it can be. Sure, what do you mean it can be? We see a dog get eaten by plant parasites. The whole village gets terrorized. We get called a pedophile for all our work. Miss Gina gets locked up in a in a cave somewhere. Cisco gets abused and isolated even though she's a good person. It seems to me that there's nothing but cruelty. Well, you're right about all those things that happen. But there's more than that, you know? Yeah, like what? Well, we're gonna save Gina, remember? And we've seen all sorts of places most people would never even dream of seeing. Uh, yeah. And, you know, we even traveled in time. Remember that? And we cleared Cisco's name. We changed the timeline to make everything better. People can make a difference, Jack, you know? <sighs> I... I guess. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right, Dion. Makes a guy think. Well, yeah, you know, we do a lot of thinking at our age. Yeah, maybe you do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dion. I've just been a little on edge lately. After what Polly did to us. This is great! What? You want... You see, Dion, some people have no sense of gratitude. All right, I'll wait here and you call me. Yep, can do. Maybe Dion's right. We have made things better. Maybe. Ah, oh, jeez. I guess once like, you've been like me, been the butt of so many jokes. The old beanstalk. You end up wanting to take it out on somebody else. You become what you feared for all those years. Well, uh, now I realize this. I'm just gonna change my ways. Cause I, I, I understand the error of my ways now. There we go. All right. Hey, Dion, I'm gonna throw my hat to you. Man, he's a good throw. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trick you. Please take my tail and turn off that electricity, Ribbit. He must have kept it since he was a tadpole. Still kind of electrified. Huh. Interesting. Well, I better turn off the electricity before he dies. It's kind of freaky when he's black, black, black frog with white eyes like that. Well, we got the tail. 
I am surprised that frog actually did have it. It just goes to show that while you can't always uh, get things by being nice, you shouldn't. You should only be cruel when there is no other option. And even then, well, there's always another option. Well, maybe not with this frog. Yeah, Max is holding up pretty well in there. He fell asleep listening to the gentle sounds of the of the bugs crawling around. Those blue ants. Man, it makes me antsy just thinking about it. Ah, uh, jeez, no one was around to hear that. Oh, well. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm sorry that no one was around to hear your genius pun. I mean, just thinking about how no one's gonna hear that pun makes me be full of ant... Ang... I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, I, I guess next we're gonna go fight a sp Oh, wait, wrong area. I guess next we're gonna go fight a spider. Let's go. Fight a spider. What was that? That tail was my treasure, so use it well. Don't worry, it'll save a kingdom. I mean, it's kind of, it's symbolic of you learning to grow up and act your age. Or a little bit. Symbolic of that a little bit. Alright. Well, we're gonna go fight a spider. We're probably not gonna win. We can try. Can't we? Of course we can. By we, I mean you. That ball of silk right on its rear. Maybe this spider wasn't always like this. I see what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna be a team effort. Now he'll use his fishing rod and reel in the silk from the abdomen. There we go. Got the silver thread from the spider. Maybe we should get out of here before he uh, comes to his senses. Well, you were a tough opponent. We outdid ya. Fugo, Fugo, Fugo. I lost. Go on and take it. I won't mess with you anymore. Fugo, Fugo, Fugo. Use it wisely. Ironically, that was a lot easier than any of the other spiders. It just goes to show that when they expect you to use brain instead of brawn, you can do better. Huh. I guess so, Jack. Wait, have we gotten everything? Yeah, I think we did. I think that's everything. We got the shell. We got the silk. We got the coat. We got the tail. And we got the paint. That's everything. Oh, and the honey. Which we also got. So yeah, we did get everything. Huh. You know what? After all those things I said to you, Dion, thanks for still being my teammate. Hey, no, no, no need to, no need to thank me. After all, we're a gold team. Well, you know, if Max was here. Well, Hassan. Or wait, are you Solomon? No, this is Hassan. Solomon is the, is the other guy. The taller guy. The younger guy. Well, Hassan, we got your th stuff. I'm- I'm not dragging my feet. D I, I don't need you to tell me this, okay? I have the things. We're, none of us are staying behind, we have everything already. Oh, look at that! A frog tail! A good work! Just a moment. There are four items left. 
like, yeah, well, don't worry, I'll, I'll give you the other ones. Oh, look at that, a gold drop. Uh, good work, just a moment. There are three items left. I believe that's all the ones that, uh, yeah. So let's see, we need to give him the forest coat. Oh, look at that, a forest coat. Good work, just a moment. There are two items left. So what exactly is he going to make out of this? Is it going to be a paste? Something he's going to put into capsules? Will it be a weapon? Who can say? No! Oh, look at that! Silver thread! Uh, good work. Just a moment. There are one items left. I mean, one item left. Oh, I'm sorry, I, you know, I was just so excited that I misspoke. So, the Ant Buster. Oh wait, we just have the snail shell. I thought we needed paint. Then what was all the paint for? Good question. Anyway, who has the shell? Oh, Jack does. Quit talking about the blue things, okay? Especially since we all know they're called ants. Like literally, didn't he call them ants earlier? Surely he knows. Oh, look at that! A forest shell! Uh, good work. Just a moment. Great. Now I have everything I need to make the Ant Buster. Let's start immediately. Power to max! Ant Buster Online! Is this the Ant Buster? Wait a minute, isn't that the, uh, Japanese pot? It's looking good. I've spent years researching this, so I'm a little nervous. You boys are free now. Enjoy some sightseeing in our kingdom. I'm very thankful to you. Good work. You're welcome. You're welcome, Professor. I understand that it's a shame we had to be prisoners and all that even though we're innocent. But, uh, well, we did a service for your country. Where is our medal? I tell you what, first Princess Polly betrays our friendship and our trust. Then she exploits our labor after the unjust prison sentence. I swear. Oh yeah, you know, I was kind of wondering what exactly is, uh, what exactly is outside of town? You know, to the... To the... East. It could be a lot of things. What are you doing? This gate leads outside. The king forbids your passage. A long time ago, this town was much larger. One night, most of the houses just disappeared. That's... Scary. What do you mean we barred entrance? We did what the king wanted us to! What is Polly playing at here? Now that she she's gotten what she wants out of us, is she just gonna kill us? Okay, you know what? Forget it. I, I can't believe this. Well, of course, it, she does want to kill us. She wants us to send us into the ant's den. Of course she does. Wait a minute. How would this guy get to the roof? Because there's clearly some kind of building. I mean, there's a doorway on the roof. Oh, whatever. Forget it. Seems to me that we're hardly free to go. Oh, kingy. Kingy, kingy, kingy. I'd call you your majesty, but I don't have terribly much respect for you. I thought we were free to go. Instead, this is going on? I'm not even sure what this is. Oh. 
Rise and shine, boys. Oh, for once, Jack, you're... For once, Max, you're... Sleeping in the right place. Good job. What's wrong, children? If you're tired, feel free to rest in my inn. Hassan will take care of the bill, so don't worry about it. Oh, if you ever stay in an inn, when you start the game, choose start from inn. You can't stay in an inn while you're playing. Oh. Well. Thanks for disappointing me. Come to think of it, maybe we should just go see Solomon. He's somewhere in town, right? Oh, there he is. Oh, you must be Caesar. You look a lot like that scumbag merchant. The only thing left to paint is the gown, but I'm stumped. What are you doing? If you do anything suspicious, the soldiers will arrest you again. Thanks for the advice. Oh, fiddly diddly sticks. At this rate, the king's going to have my head. What should I do? The king's birthday's coming up in only three days time. Days was singular. I need to finish his portrait in time for his birthday or else. But woe is me, I was out on a stroll when all of a sudden, a gang of spiders from the forest mugged me and stole my paints. Oh, what will I do now? Well, it's funny you should, it's funny you should talk about this. Cause, uh, I mean, if they're gangsters, that'd explain why those spiders were so mean, but... Those are the paints I lost in the forest. Thank you for finding them for me. But I'm gonna let you go ahead and keep them. According to my calculations, overlapping two of those paints will finish this painting. The problem lies in which order to use the paints. My painting know-how is in a book in the castle archives. If you try to remember what the king's gown looks like, you could read the book and figure out how to duplicate it. Why do they want me to remember? I don't remember what the king looks like. That was... I mean, we've been through so much since then. We've fought spiders. Beat up a bagworm? Your Majesty, are you still here? Please, I need to just look at you. Well, oh dear. I, uh, suppose I'm just gonna have to wing it. What, what other choice is there? We can't consult Caesar's book, though. Not sure why we should care about helping him. I mean, yeah, we might as well help him. It's only, you know, out of common humanity. But we're still being unjustly held as prisoners in this city. Even though we're supposed to not be prisoners anymore. Let's see, patterns. First color you paint determines the pattern. Red is polka dots, blue is stripes, and green is checkers. I'm going to, you know what? I think, I want to say it was a checkered gown. I want to say the king was wearing a checkered gown. Now, I, now the paints here in a Lilliput work in a very odd way, but whatever. How to make black. Yeah, if you mix them all together, you'll get black. But not if you start with red. Okay, let's, uh, hold on. Let's look at that book again. Because that's a very odd way to say it. So if we add green and then red, we'll get black. But if we start with red and add green... Alright, so the king wasn't wearing black, so we'll start with red. And just... Well, who knows what else might happen from there? Could be anything. In any case, what's the, what's the worst they could do? Well, the worst they could do is imprison us again. Well, I mean, honestly, the worst they could do is kill us, but... As backward as these traitorous people seem to be, I... Well, I'm sorry. I'm almost sounding imperialistic. I'm really just angry about Polly and the horrific treatment we've received here, but really, that's all her doing. At least this beautiful country. Full of palm trees, paved roads... The bright colors of these... These... Sand-blown buildings. Now, Caesar, I have to tell you, if we mess this up, you have every... You have, you have it coming, because you're refusing to paint it yourself even though you're the artist. 
Caesar O and I. King's portrait for his 50th birthday. Oh, he's pretty, looks pretty good for 50. All right, so, um, green is checkers, so yeah. What? Oh, I see. So, hold on here. Dion has the red paint, and Jack has the blue paint, and uh, Max has green. All right. Let's go. Gown isn't finished yet. Well, guys, want to sabotage a painting? Who's gonna paint now? Think of the king's gown and pick the first color. Green. Who goes next? Why does it need to be all of them, though? Oh, whatever. All right, let's combine our power. Wait, only two of them were painting it, though. It's pitch black! Didn't you read my painting book? Yeah, I did! Well, I guess it's because I started with green, isn't it? Okay, now we're just gonna go out. Caesar, you are such a condescending jerk. I just want to say this. How lazy can you get making these random kids paint your painting? You, you're the painter. Use your mastery of the paint to paint it yourself, you lazy jerk. I mean, really, what a scumbag. I, I'm sorry, I'm just so, I, I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe this is, maybe he wants to teach us how to paint, but I just, it seems to me just to be plain irresponsible. He's, he's shirking his duties and dumping them onto us. Why the heck is everyone we meet so lazy and unable to help themselves do anything? That's what I'm beginning to feel like at this point. Anyway, it's teamwork. Well, I guess whatever it is, I was wrong and it's not checkers because we can't start with green. So I'm going to want to say, I don't think it was polka dots. I think it was stripes. So we're going to go with blue. And then... How about... Yeah, we'll let Dion paint. He's earned it. All right, let's combine our power. It's beautiful, wonderful, marvelous. Just like the treasure. That's the king gown I remember. Good work. I'll go inform the king, so come along afterward. I'm sure the king will be very pleased. Well, I appreciate your praise, but I don't think you should be a painter, because you clearly are no better at it than a bunch of random kids. We finished the king's gown. Maybe Polly's father will change his mind about us now. Who cares what he thinks? Let's just get the pearl and get out of here. Which admittedly will involve breaking into the king's castle. I mean, I, I... Let's be honest. Dear Journal, Today, we defeated a bunch of spider gangsters and then finished a painting. Princess Polly will defeat the blue things? This is a secret from my father. Oh, oh, we meet again, tomboy. Oh, little travelers, I'm glad you're here. The princess is insisting on leading a war party. She wishes to march against the blue things. Can't you stop her? Princess, the ant buster was invented to repel the blue things. I haven't done tests to see if it will kill them. Hassan, what are you saying? 
I don't want to just sit here and waste my time waiting to die. If we wait, they'll come again tonight and destroy our kingdom. Hurry up and give me that buster cannon. I understand. If you've made up your mind, I won't try to stop you. I'll stand watch over the castle and entrust you to Hassan's care. What are you saying? You're coming with me. But... but... Oh, Princess, wait! Don't forget this Super Buster Cannon! Wait, so that was Solomon? For the life of me, I have no clue which one of them is which. What do you th what do you have anything to say, you lazy bones? Looking good, looking good! You might even be better than me. Don't go getting any crazy ideas. Don't go dropping out of school to become a painter. There's just no money in it, you know? Yeah, he's right, actually. Well, um, I suppose the only thing to do is to go talk to... I suppose Hassan was the younger one? I mean, it makes sense. Since, you know, it's a King Solomon was a long time ago. But, wait a minute, are there no soldiers inside anymore? Yeah, a lot of them are gone. They're off with Princess Polly, I guess. What, you kids again? You can't enter the archive room while Hassan is out. Hassan took the finished Ant Buster and left. He said he had to make it stronger somehow. I think he went to Princess Polly's room. It didn't look like he went that way to me. It went, looked like he was dragged off to the... Well, to the blue thing's lair. Um... Oh... Way to leave all the guards out, Polly? Wait, so Hassan is the younger one. Oh, who's that on the wall? This painting is of Polly's dearly departed mother. Huh? This face. It's Max! It looks just like Max! That's why she liked him husky. Oh. Oh, jeez, I feel kind of like I'm violating her privacy going into her bedroom like this. What can I say to the princess to have her forgive me? If anything happened to Princess Polly, I couldn't go on living. Please, you must save her. Yeah, and why, why can't you help us? Well, anyway, there's a letter on the table. Let's uh, move a bit closer for a look. I am already right in front of it. The same distance is whatever. It's fine. Dear Solomon, I've gone with Hassan to defeat the blue things. I forced him to keep this secret from you. If I hadn't, you would have tried to come along no matter what I said. If anything happens to me, please take care of my father. He's hopeless on his own because he gets lonely so easily. Also, make sure those three boys can safely leave our kingdom. I'll take care of the blue things to restore peace. Don't worry. Polly. My king, it's awful. Princess Polly is... Oh. First of all, so you are Solomon. This isn't just a battle for Princess Polly. This is a battle to save the kingdom. But if even their organized military can't defeat the ants, what chance do a bunch of random kids have? Princess Polly's assault team was annihilated. Worse yet, she herself was taken prisoner. Even with the Ant Buster, they came on us in swarms. We never really stood a snowball's chance in hell. What's going on? I warned him not to do anything brash. Now look at the mess he's in. I could never face the departed queen if anything happens to her. Please, hurry and save the soldiers and rescue Princess Polly. Thanks, stranger. But it ain't enough. You gotta get the queen and kill her. You win. 
but things will go my way next time.